So I know y'all don't believe half the time that I dig bottles, but just kind of wanted to show everybody what it's like. It looks like I got two down here, one right there and one right there. So we'll see how this goes here. Now I believe these are what are called churro colas, which is now RC. And many people don't know what that is or how the story came about, but in Knoxville, they outsold Coca-Cola almost two to one, which was really big at the time, especially because Coke had so many different people that they were involved with and had the lawyers and everything. So let's see. Not gonna need a screwdriver. So we're back for part two. Got the screwdriver now. It should come out, hopefully. And hopefully it's whole and not broke. But as you can see back in there, there's a lot of rock around it and a bunch of different stuff that make them hard to get out of there sometimes. And you gotta be gentle with them because you don't wanna break them. Yep, right there. Chero Cola, Knoxville. It's over 100 years old. So this next one got a little bit more ready. That way we can kind of see, not have to take so much time. And this is gonna be what I think is a red rock. Yes, red rock from Knoxville. Really pretty bottle, but it's nice to find. Got a little bit of damage, but thanks for watching my TED talk. So just to show how far these old bottles traveled, check this one out. It's a Capicola from Little Rock, Arkansas. And I'm in Knoxville, so it took the rail all the way down through here. Came out of that hole right back there. It's a good day so far.